Hi, I'm Rebecca, an international volunteer from Curva di Cultura and I come from Italy. Today I'm here to talk about my photography project. From the first video I'm going to be focused on the camera of our way, but probably in the next video I will be talking about other brands as well. So let's start with a general presentation of the main tools that you can find in your camera. When you open the camera, you can divide the screen in three different parts. The bottom, the middle and the top. At the bottom, we can find three different options. One is to switch between front and rear camera, the other one is to take the picture and the other one that we can find on the left is to view the photo on the gallery. Then we have the middle, where are the modalities and the top in which you can find the tools. The tools will change depending on the modalities that we will choose. So let's start with the photo mode. In the top, starting from the left, we can find two tools that are specific for Huawei. That is the Naval Master AI and the Launch iVision. We're going just to mention them with no explanation because they need a long one that will be made in another video. Third tool that we can find is the flash that is a light that appears at the same moment in which you are taking the picture. We can use it most of the time in night shootings. The second possibility that we have is to put the flash off. The third possibility is to have the flash on and the fourth possibility is to have the flash always on. As we can see, the first possibility that we have is the auto flash, that is when the mobile phone recognizes if the photo that you are taking needs flash or not. The difference between the flash on and the flash always on is that in the last one the light is on before and while you are taking the picture. The fourth possibility that we have are the filters. Setting of the brightness, the contrast and the colors of the photo that are predetermined. On the right we can see two different black and white filters. The impact filter where the black and white are more marked and the ND in which the colors are more soft. The last tool that we can find is access camera settings. It allows you to have access to some different tools and some different options. In the middle of the screen in the right, we can find the tools to adjust the zoom level. Keeping pressing on it, you can zoom in or out. Always in the middle, pressing on the screen, you have the possibility to choose your point of focus. And in the right, the sun symbol allows you to put the brightness lower or higher. Now we can change and put the portrait mode that lets you apply beauty, lightning and blue effects to your portrait. First, it has to detect a face. Going more to the left, we can find the night mode that solves the issues caused by low light and helps you to take better night shootings. On the screen, you can see two different tools, ISO and shutter speed. These tools are really professional and we're going to talk about them in another video. The last mode that we can find is the aperture mode that allows you to shoot photos and video when the background is blurred while your subject remains in focus. Going to the right, we have the option more in which you can find more specific modalities to take better pictures. So that's all for today, as you can see this was just an introduction, if you want to learn more to discover more about photography, just check out the new videos that are going to be published on our channel. Thank you for watching and uh, la rivedere!